Okay, hey guys, I'm Joey Shanks here once again, and I'm going to be showing you guys how I made a Ghostbusters trap out of a power strip. Now, when I was a little kid, I'd always think little surge protectors on the ground looked like Ghostbuster traps. Now the first thing you need is your base compartment. What I used was the power strip cord management box. Looking on blueprints of the original Ghostbusters trap, it was very similar in size. want to link the wires where green goes to green, black goes to bronze, and white goes to silver. And you don't necessarily have to use this stuff. You can even have the regular surge just coming out without being this short of a cord and just using that. So unless you're comfortable with, uh, with cutting wires and screwing in outlets and stuff like that, I wouldn't recommend doing this. So working with a smaller surge that has the outlets facing downward allows for a lot more space. This is your normal surge. So if I plug this guy in, let's say these outlets were taken, this cord would get in the way of it. But with this guy, minimizes the use of cords and really frees up a lot of space. It also has three USBs too. The extension is gonna slide right where the cords would go. And I know this seems maybe like it could be a little dangerous, but when we, when we plug in our female end, it'll actually be just as secure as any other outlet. Kind of is a perfect fit, wouldn't you say? We need a female end, wire it the same way, and I use this stretchable cord, which kind of looks heavy duty and kind of looks ghostbustery. I like there was a circular end on it because uh, the plate we're gonna use is circular as well, so it'd be a very seamless connection. So it plugs in like so. And uh, what I did was I found just this exterior outlet plate that's made for circular extensions like this, so it's a perfect fit. So I drilled two quarter inch holes right here, three inches apart. And I'm using quarter inch holes because photography equipment, the standard threading is quarter inch, so I have tons of it. So if you feel like using a different size, go right ahead. Now cutting plastic like this can be dangerous. So if you don't feel comfortable or have the tools for this process, cardboard works just fine and it's much safer. Okay, so I've cut the top out of my trap here and what we're gonna use the plastic piece that was here for our doors. We now need to attach some pegs to the end of our doors. Now I use simple Lego pieces for my pegs. I just super glued them on. Left about oh, a quarter inch hanging off. So I glued four Lego pieces like this for our dowels to fit into. So what I'm gonna do is slide in on both sides and create a hinge. I used caution tape, but if you don't have this tape, you can also just use yellow electric tape. I hot glued them on. I spray painted them black first, then I put them on. Lego bricks here, attached here and here. It kind of hides the doors a little bit more. So this is our finished version here. And this metal piece I got just off some random old tube style TV. I spray painted as well though, and also kind of scratched it a little bit so it looked aged. 
Okay, so now we need to probably the most important part of the trap is the handle because you want the handle to be secure and to be able to hold all this stuff. You don't want to have to just carry it around by this and have a weak handle. All right, so what I created was this four inch dowel here and it's just a piece of wood and I drilled holes in and I hammered these little quarter inch extensions so you could screw in a quarter inch bolt. What this is gonna do is gonna sit inside the trap and it's gonna mount to the bottom. It's gonna mount to the top as well. And then I'm also gonna run a quarter inch contacted like a cross. So here's the top part, the bottom. And you use a thin screw head so and you drill it out and make it wide so it'll sit flush. It's sitting flush to the ground. We got our quarter inch screw here, and this is gonna go through even on both sides, about an inch. My PVC handle I made, and it's just a half inch plumbing piece here to a right angle half inch plumbing piece, a 3 8 photography bolt, and it's gonna screw onto the top here. And this is a 3 8 nut that we screwed into our dowel. I dremeled this top open so I can come in and I can screw to the top. When you pick it up, it'll be able to hold the weight because it's being supported from the bottom, from the top, and from the sides. The most important part of the trap because all the weight is distributed from right here. And we're eventually gonna screw uh, some nuts onto the side here. Now you can use a variety of different things. I even played around with like getting cheap cases at the dollar store and you can even attach them here. What I did was once again took an old TV apart and I grabbed stuff like this and there's even stuff like this on the real Ghostbusters trap and I drilled a hole into it, screwed it in and it mounted the same size threading. But this is actually, I used this, this plate and it actually came off my lacy drive. That's what holds it in. It has a lot of nice weight to it and I thought it, it, it fit good. Okay, so for the most part, this is our finished trap here. Now, as we can have, we see our surge is in there and it's on. The one thing I, I did add at the very end is I added this cool little USB LED light that's flexible and that's got a lot of range of movement and it creates a really nice accent light or you can even move it around and it can be even part of kind of like the style of the of, of the trap that's really why i wanted to have this to be able to unplug so you you didn't necessarily have to have wires coming out of it if, if, if you didn't want to you could even put in servo motors right here so the doors will pop open something i was hoping to do but just didn't have the knowledge to uh to tackle that at this time. And then the really the very last thing I put in were these parts right here. And this gives you the ability to mount it on the wall. Just drill two screws in the wall, three inches apart, and slide this guy right in. And you have the wall mounted ghost trap. I hope that this will be on my wall charging things for, for many years to come. And also, uh, if I ever want to break it out and catch some ghosts, I have that ability too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Shanks Effects. If you would, please check out uh, previous Ghostbuster episodes, like the creating Ghostbuster Proton streams that I did a couple years ago. Please subscribe and look for more of our stuff in the near future. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.